In today's video, I'm doing a valve adjustment on a, a 1973 B2. That's a TDC dent on the crank on the crank pulley. That is your TDC mark. Line it up with that uh, joint there. This point here needs to be lined up with the cylinder number one spark lead. And then you can start adjusting number one, the inlet and the exhaust valves. It's a zero point zero zero six of an inch which is 0 0.15 mm that we're gonna set the gap at so I'm gonna start with number one I'm gonna check if it's okay That seems okay. I wouldn't need to adjust this number. This one seems okay as well. So now to go into number two, we would need to rotate the crank anti-clockwise to 180 degrees. The firing order is 1432. So it's easier to go anti-clockwise on these. So now I turn this 180 degrees down and we should be pointing to number two. So now I'm gonna check number two. Okay, actually no, it wasn't reaching. So this one is okay. This one is really hard to get the right angle. I would say this one is good as well, so I'm not gonna adjust the valve on this, but just to give you an example, you loosen this nut, which is a 13 mm, and then then you adjust the adjustment screw with the flatbed screwdriver. This engine seems really dirty. It needs an oil change. So guys, I moved to cylinder number three and look, it's so tight, it doesn't move. So we should have a little bit of uh, very slight, it should move at least. So look at that, that's too tight and I'm gonna adjust it. Yep, now it's loose. We can adjust it. So after you tighten it, you need to check how it is now. A lot better now. See? And that's it. That's well. <clears throat> Let's see. Actually, no. This one's okay. 
I'm going to adjust that one. So the last cylinder, I'm going to turn the crankshaft 180 degrees to the uh, anti-clockwise. Sounds okay actually. Fuck it. Okay. I guess they're all okay except for this one, the first one there. So I'll just put the, everything back together now. Thank you for watching this video. I'm going to start it up and see how it sounds after.